discussing over 40 fat loss. Well, that's me. I'm 47 years old, so anyone here between the age of 35 and 55, you need to listen. And if you're younger or older, you need to listen. Because everything I discuss right now will be 100% applicable to any human, regardless of age and gender and anything else. But specifically, I wanted to speak to those in that, that 35 to 55 year old demograph because what we deal with is slightly different. We see our body change, our lifestyle change, our role, responsibilities, commitments, all of this changes. And how do we navigate Ryan, what's up, Ryan Kramer? Good to see you, brother, man. Miss you. Hope all is well. We got to catch up. I want to hear about all your travels. Um, all right, so as we navigate life, we go through our 20s and 30s, and then we get into those 40s and 50s. Well, many of us, we look back and we realize the mistakes that we had made in our younger years. We took our youth for granted. We were able to stay relatively fit while not doing all of the fitness things we should have been doing. We didn't quite get enough sleep. We maybe skipped workouts. We didn't eat as good as we could have. We certainly were more prone to binging and beers and all these things, especially in our 20s right? In our 30s, we tend to get stressed out because work and career, and maybe we bought a house and we started a family and we're just spread so thin. But then we get a little bit older and now we're into the routine or many people fall into a rut. You've been married for a while, you got your kids, you're in your career, you have a stable income, whether you're struggling or coasting, there's some structure in your life. And then one day you wake up groggy, cloudy, bloated. You drag your chubby butt to the bathroom. You look in the mirror and you're like, what the f happened to me? What happened to me? Oh my goodness, look at me. And you think back to your earlier years, in your, your high school years, your college years, your early mid-20s, when life seemed easy. And it wasn't hard to maintain relative fitness. But now, some 20 or so years later, poof, all that seems to be gone. And now you desperately want to get it back because blood pressure's creeping up. LDL's creeping up, your doc's talking about statin drugs and blood pressure lowering drugs and, and who knows, diabetic, pre-diabetes, right, type 2, high glucose, HbA1c, PSA, oh no, what's going on here? Well, you're getting older. And this is a natural part of the aging process. Ladies, this affects you equally. So as this is going on, what do you do? Well, that's what I want to break down right now. And I'm going to answer questions too. So if you guys have any questions, throw them into the comments in the live chat as I'm talking. And I'll answer those questions at the end of this. This rant's going to be pretty short now. Uh, I just wanted to give you that little preamble. So... You likely clicked on this because you saw the avatar, you saw the video, you saw the thumbnail. Shirtless Mike, right? Well, that's me six, week, six weeks ago in the blue shorts and this morning in the black shorts. I was 46 when I took the first photo, 47 when I took the second photo. Well, actually, I had just turned 47 to be fair, right? I think... I took that the day of or the day before my 47th birthday. So I'm 47 effectively in both those photos. 
And I will tell you, at 47 years old, I am in the best shape of my life. By far. Now, I've, I've been leaner before, like when I was doing UFC Fit. I've been bigger and stronger before at other phases. The Right around 2016, I got up to 227 pounds. I was back into this like power building program. I was a little chunky, I gotta tell you. What's the difference? That now I'm as lean as I've ever been and as big as I've ever been at this level of leanness. My blood, per blood work is perfect. When I say my blood work is perfect, I mean it is perfect. My blood work is better than Andrew Huberman's and Peter Atias. They've openly discussed their blood work. Mine is way better than theirs. Way better than theirs. And that's not throwing shade on them. That's just the fact. They wish they had my blood work. 100%. My blood work is the ideal of what they're trying to get to. Well, why is that? Why is that? I don't hold a PhD, right? I don't have millions of subscribers on, on this YouTube channel, which as a reminder, subscribe if you have not yet. Boom, thumbs up, please. Maybe we'll get there. But the point is, what, what Andrew and what Pete know, they don't apply with respect, and I'm not throwing shade. The difference between them and me, the difference between me and you, is I do this. I do this. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I'm consistent. I'm consistent. I don't die a little bit and then fall off. I don't train pretty hard and then stop. I don't go to bed early and then stay up late on the weekends. I don't do that. I don't care the name of the day. I don't care if it's a holiday or a Tuesday. The point of this is consistency. And that's something most people lack in their lifestyle. As you get older, the highs and lows, the peaks and the valleys are what will ruin you. As you get older, it's not about how hard you train. It's about how consistently you train. It's, a not, it's not about how fast you run. It's about how often you walk. It's not about the, the chicken and quinoa you ate one time and you forget to mention the beers and wings. The point is consistency. So if you're struggling right now, well, it's easy. It's easy to fix. You're struggling due to lack of consistency. That's all. Are you doing the right things consistently? Are you not doing the wrong things consistently? That's the thing, right? How boring is this, by the way? There is no secret diet hack. There is no primal ancestor training technique. There is no pill, powder, or potion that will do it for you. The only thing you need to do is be consistent. You need to start saying no to your fat friends, to Click here to watch the next episode on Netflix at night. 
you need to start saying yes to healthy movement consistently. You need to say yes to nourishing food consistently. What is consistency here? Well, I'm going to give you a challenge. For the next 30 days, can you live 30 perfect days? Can you not drink alcohol for the next 30 days? Can you not eat processed sugars for the next 30 days? Can you not pollute your body with synthetic chemicals and highly processed food for the next 30 days? Can you to go can you go to bed on time which is early for the next 30 days? Can you get eight to nine hours of deep restful sleep every single night for the next 30 days? Can you perform 30 to 45 minutes of fasted lists every single day for the next 30 days? Can you perform 30 to 60 minutes of vigorous resistance training three times per week over the next 30 days? Can you not engage in toxic habits, toxic thoughts, toxic relationships for the next 30 days? Can you do that? Can you eat healthful, high net nutrient, whole foods, every meal for the next 30 days? It's only three to five meals per day. Simple, easy, lean, green, clean. If you need a meal plan, you can click the link below and save 20% with promo code TRANSFORM at our own website. A meal plan created by myself and our registered dietitians, perfect for you. Can you do this for only 30 days? Well, 30 days is less than 10% of the entire year. Less than 10% of the entire year. But if you invest 30 days of consistently affirming your health, you will dramatically transform the other 90% of the year. And that's just this year. You've made a transformative change to your health, to your life, to your health span, to your lifespan, but also <laughs> the quality and utility of every moment of every day living inside this healthier, more fit, more energized body, this vehicle that we have, we have this one vehicle to chaperone us through our lives. How many cars have you owned in your life? Few, a few. Three cars, five cars, eight cars. How many cars have you owned in your entire life? Well, imagine if you could only have one car, you could only drive one car, you could only own one car for your entire life. How well would you treat that car? Why then do you treat your body so poorly? There are no real replacement parts for your body. Where there are replacement parts for cars, even if you own only one. But not for your body. So think like that. You can own one body for the entirety of your life. 
and you must maintain it. This becomes very apparent when we enter into that 40 or so age bracket. We no longer have the benefit of youth. We no longer have the recovery ability. We no longer have the hormone ratio. We no longer have many of the benefits that youth will afford us, which makes it even more important to focus on the lifestyle habits that I'm discussing here with you. Again, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments, throw them in the chat. You can always email me through my team, Gabby. Gabby handles all this, she'll put us in touch. G-A-B-B-Y, Gabby at VDolceDiet.com. You ever wanna to talk to me, maybe you wanna to work together. Maybe you wanna be a private one-on-one -on -one coach, that's fine. Maybe you just have a question, that's fine. Whatever I can do to help you, real offer. But you better be about it. You better be, I don't care where you're starting, how bad life is, what a mess you are right now. As long as you truly want to change, reach out. Gabby at thedolcediet.com or you can simply click the link below right now and go to thedolcediet.com. Ryan, what's up brother? Tyler, yo coach, it's a great day for fitness every day. Karen, good day. Thoughts on the fight dietitian? I love him, Jordy, Jordy Sullivan. Uh, I consider myself friends with Jordan. Jordan Sullivan down there in Australia, he works with uh, most of the Aussie New Zealand athletes. Um, Israel, Israel Adesanya, Alexander Volkanovsky, uh, Kai Kiara France, um, who's competing this weekend, right? So yeah, Jordy's great. Uh, Hugh Murphy, can't wait to review yours. Absolutely. So Hugh actually purchased our optimized blood work at DolceDietShop.com. Our team set him up with a comprehensive optimized blood panel. He got his blood work done. Our team of medical professionals reviews it, creates a lab report, and then I go through and review it in a one-on-one -on -one consultation. Hugh, I look forward to that too. Tyler, coach, the Squats and State program priced three payments of $750? No, it's $750 over the three payments. Over the, no, $750, it's a one-time payment of $750. That's it. One-time payment of $750. It's not three payments. Now, if you need to make payments, send Gabby an email. We do payment plans all the time. We are here to help you. Not a problem. Hey man, I don't quite have to scratch right now. I can pay it monthly. Not a problem. Gabby, G-A-B-B-Y, Gabby at thedolcediet.com. Guys and gals, if you ever have any financial difficulty but you desperately want to change your life, send us an email. Gabby at thedolcediet.com. We will work with you as long as you're honest. As long as you're about it. It's not about the money for us. You have to pay in order to be invested, right? You have to be, you have to pay something in order to be invested. But it's not about the money for us. It's about the work. Um, Tyler, you got it. Awesome, awesome. Um, Eric, Mike, have a blessed day. About to hop on the treadmill and do my 40 minutes of fasted lists. Join the club, baby. Here we go. I'm getting mine in, right? Practicing what I preach right now, all day, every day, consistency, consistency. Checking my heart rate. Normally I have my polar monitor on, I forgot it. And I was already going, so I didn't wanna hop off the treadmill and blah, 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 blah. So I'm going old school right now with the little hand pads, perfect. 108 beats per minute. The holy grail of heart rate training zone Zone one, lists while fasted. That's the way to do this. I'll do another video on why fasted, fasted versus fed. I've done this stuff before, but I'll do it later. All right, guys and gals, I'm gonna jump out of here. Remember, any questions, you wanna talk, you wanna chat, you wanna connect, Gabby at thedolcediet.com. Gabby will hook us up. Um, Eric says I have a question through Mr. Shredded. Is there a nutritional reason for the pickle slices? Uh, yes. Satiety, right? 
and the sodium content. So what the pickles do, they actually help bump up your electrolyte profile in a very healthy whole food way. Most people are gonna use these little synthetic chemicals, these little sachets, these neon drink, neon colored drinks. We don't do that. You'll notice we use whole food sources, whole food sources to get all your nutrition. Again, why our system is so different from everybody else out there. All right, guys and gals, well, I appreciate you all. Fun little cardio talk today. Feel free, definitely, if you haven't yet, subscribe to this channel. That's the one thing I ask of you. Give the video a thumbs up and feel free to share it or comment. Whatever engagement you can offer us, it, it'll just help the channel. We've struggled due to that shadow ban during COVID. We were throttled for my statements and opinions on health affirming concepts that were against the, the, the false narrative. And we were throttled pretty hard, so now we're trying to battle out of that. Um, and you guys, only you guys can help. I, there's only so much that we can do here. It has to become engagement from our community. That's who you are. I'll keep putting out content like this. So any engagement you can offer, that's it. No obligation, friends, no obligation. But that's the only thing I would ask. Just try and engage with us however you can. Click the buttons and the thumbs up and the subscribes and the comments and the shares. Even just like comment for the algorithm just to gain a little bit of traction for us. Anyway, that's it. I appreciate you guys. Have a great, great day. Boom.